Okay, it's time to draw. So get your hot cup of coffee or your hot cup of tea or whatever you like. And I start drawing. But today, we're going to let some ink go wild across the paper. Let's have some fun. Okay, we're back and we've got some ink and we're ready to draw. Now today, I'm kind of getting ready for my Cat Cat book. So I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be trying some, some new cat ideas, some new cat designs. And I hope you'll enjoy working along with me on this. Um, it's just going to be a little bit of thought a little bit of thought release a little bit of thought thinking what are we going to do how are we going to do it what is the design going to look like what's the format so there's lots of thoughts going on in my head and these are kind of like um i'm hoping that there'll be something that will be you getting an insight into my design process my drawing process and get a, a feeling for for the way that i work and maybe how you can pick up some tips and tricks along the way. It might be an insight. Shall we draw? Right. So, as always, I like to just start on a corner of the paper. And uh, it just kind of, in a, some strange way, it just kind of releases a little bit of, a little bit of pressure, a little bit of, what is it going to be? What is it going to look like? And that somehow relaxes me. It gives me a feeling that it's fun. And by having that feeling of fun, I find everything seems to be okay. And I don't find that I'm under pressure to be amazing or be special or be whatever it's whatever my whatever my mind comes up with and in my usual drawing process there's no design here there's no plan here so that opens it up for you to relax for you to have fun with it for you to explore what your mind wants you to do and i find that way it makes me feel like I'm four years old, five years old, six years old. I'm some kind of kid that's just drawing and having fun. And that makes it all kind of much, much more easy to deal with. There's no pressures there about, well, I have to do this and I have to do that. So when, I, when I'm working on my books, there's this lovely relaxed feeling. And that's what makes I feel a lot of my drawings interesting to look at. What I'm trying to do is what I'm thinking about. I'm trying to think about each, each step and each process very, very, very carefully. At the moment, I'm thinking about what are the eyes doing? And that's it. I don't know what's happening on the rest of the paper. There's no plan, there's no, there's no rough drawing, there's no concept before. And this, in a way, makes it fun. Fun in a way that all I need to worry about here, all I need to think about here, is the eyes. What kind of expression? And in this one, I kind of want a little bit of a, a wild and crazy kind of feeling to him. I want him to kind of make me feel like he's a little bit crazy boy and by doing that it kind of makes me already start to feel like I kind of see that craziness in his eyes you know it's giving him a wild stare now, already that's exciting me already that's getting me into this feeling of what else what can I do next
Maybe I can have his hair a little bit longer. Maybe I could have some kind of strange haircut to him, you know? And drag those hair, a few kind of strands of hair, a little bit longer than everything else. And already that kind of gives you that kind of a little bit demented feeling that we're trying to capture here. And as I, as I say, we're not worried about that drawing. We're not worried about the arms and the legs and everything else yet. We're just thinking about looking up at my camera. My cameras are working. <laughs> yes, they are. Because they weren't working early and it drove me mad. Oh, man, it drove me mad. Feel that line. Feel each line that you put down. Feel how beautiful each line is. Do you want it to be thick at this end and thin at that end? How do you want it to be? Do you want to give him some real kind of worried, crazy wrinkles over his eyebrows? Is that what you want to do? And this is slowly, slowly you're starting to think more about the character behind this, this, this drawing. You're thinking more and more about the expression. What is he going through? And that takes you away from all that worry, all that worry about this has to be a Michelangelo, this has to be a Da Vinci, this has to be something incredible. At this point, we're just enjoying every line. Look how beautiful that line is. Look the way that it explodes halfway and it gives me that feeling that passion it gives me that feeling of excitement the way i kind of ragged out his ears a little bit I kind of give him that feeling that he's been in a lot of tussles and a lot of fights and a lot of rough times and they're starting to be the beginnings of our character the beginnings and we don't even know what the rest of his face looks like so this is where we start to have fun. What kind of a nose do we want him to have? Let's give him a little bit of a bent up nose. Let's kind of give him a nose that's, again, looks a little bit like he's had scars, he's had fights, he's had, he's had a bit of a rough time. And as you're thinking about these type of things, just about his nose, let's give him a little highlight on his nose. And that, that starts to give you a really kind of nice off-center feeling, like, like some kind of strange expression to him. Now, I love the way that we did up there with the hair, and I'm thinking about, can we do the same wildness here, this kind of, this, this unkempt type of craziness to him. And that already starts to make me feel like this is starting to be a beautiful character. So I'm just carrying off this hair on this side as well, just to kind of see what, what looseness and, and, and craziness can we get. Now, like I said, we don't know what's happening here. We don't know if he's going to be a fat cat, a skinny cat. Now, oh, giving him a little bit of an off jaw. This type of thing. And I'm going to give him some little teeth in there. Not to make him look mean, but to kind of add to that type of... That kind of off-center face. And that's already starting to make me feel really excited. This, the expression already in this character. And to help that, I'm gonna bring this face in to be very thin. And what this is doing is it's kind of, you're thinking on your toes. You're thinking about 
Well, because I'm turning that face, I'm not having a straight face. I'm turning it like, it kind of screw that face. Moving off center gives you that feeling of, of this kind of craziness, this kind of expression of pain or anxiety or something. It's like, There's a nice, there's a nice flow with the ink. I, I, I love working with Indian ink for the very simple reason that it's very unforgiving. If you make a mistake, you will see it. <laughs> you make a mistake, uh, it's gonna be a hard thing to hide it. And that gives you this feeling of whatever I do, I have no choice. Whatever line I make, is the line I need to take. And that gives you this, this kind of carefree feeling that whatever I do has got to be, has got to be right. It's got to feel perfect. It's got to work. And that's what gives me this, this confidence to just to throw down a line and, and let it work. And there's what's, See, that excites me. That tells me something. Is this is going to be a beautiful character. I'm just putting in some, some light shading there to kind of give him this kind of grayness under his eyes. Give him this feeling that he hasn't slept in a week, you know. And when, the, when I'm doing these type of things, I put very little ink on the pen because there's already so much ink on the paper that you're kind of working that ink. You see there, I didn't put any ink on it, but I'm just working the ink that's on the paper. And that kind of works better because there's already a line there. I'm not putting in a line and working it. I'm taking the ink and working that line. See the same there above. There's already so much ink there. I don't need to add any more, make it thicker and more confusing. I want to kind of get to this part of this dark shading around his eye. And then when you come to color, that shading will help it. That will in, it kind of push the whole glare of that eye much, 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 much more. So I've got this feeling here that I've got these arms coming in and these arms are bending. And I'm not quite sure about it, but my mind is telling me that the, the arms are down here. And we're going to have a kind of, some kind of clawed arm. And this, now you can see what, why this character is becoming is because I've already done the arms way down there. I can't do the legs down here. So the body has got to go this way. And I haven't thought about that yet. But I know the drawing is telling me this is where the arm has to be. This is where it has to be. And your drawing will tell you that. As you're, as you're working it, you will start to feel like, why are you telling me to draw the arms down here? What, what, what? And you start panicking. Don't panic. Don't. This is all going to work out because this paper is, is telling you what's in it. And you're finding that, that drawing. I'm carving this, this image out of this piece of paper. It's already there. I'm kind of just you know, like a like a like one of those guys in the desert finding those dinosaur bones or something. You know, it's like, I'm finding it. It's there. I'm just kind of digging in the dirt and out it comes. Now look at that beautiful clawed hand that I've come up with there.
I've given him three fingers. I'm just going to tuck in a thumb there just to keep that kind of crazy wide arm there. I almost feel like the other hand needs to be somewhere around that vicinity. It's like he's doing this type of thing. Well, let's, let's see what we can do here. We're not thinking about the neck. We're not thinking about the body. We're taking that heart. We're taking where it's driving us. We're, we're following our own intuition here. We're, we're, we're saying, well, you want the other hand to be there. Okay. Um, I, I believe you. Okay. Let's, 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 I trust you. Let's go with it. And you have to do that with your drawing. If you start, if you start backing off and saying, well, no, 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 no. He needs to have a neck. He needs to have a body. He needs to have... You're losing that opportunity to let go. You're losing that opportunity to draw something that you would have never have thought about. You would have never been brave enough. I'm not brave enough to draw something like this, but it's telling me it's there. Have the faith. You know, like that crazy movie, like, um, what was your man called? Um, uh, Kevin Costner, Kevin Costner. If you build it, they will come, you know? It's kind of like that type of thing. You know, everybody thinks, man, this guy's crazy. You're crazy, man. You're going to lose your field. I'm crazy. Yeah, I know I'm crazy, but it's in there. Have faith. You know, if you always go on that, um, you know, I see, I see a lot with um, very good artists. And there's some amazing artists on the internet. It's amazing artists in all these studios that you work in. And for me, what kills them is the fact that they repeat the same ground every day. They start with the head, they do with the eyes, they do with the neck, they do with the body, they do. And there's, there's no format to break. If you've got no format to break, then tomorrow you will do a head, an eye, a neck, a body. Next day, a head and that. And you'll really start to get to a point where I've got to try and do something different. I've got to try and break this up. How? Whereas if you go in to this kind of thing of thinking, well, I've got this shape. I don't know what the shape is. And you start scribbling a shape. And you start thinking, I like that shape. Could I make that shape into a character? Just a shape. But you start thinking about, well... Maybe maybe this part is where the head is. Maybe the head's down below and the body is higher up and and you start you start to feel that character coming out of the paper. You start to feel the character calling you. That's when you need to have the faith. That's when you need to to believe in your own abilities. Once you do all your exercises and you know, it's the same as like like some kind of runner, you know? I mean, you're going to run the marathon on Tuesday, you know? You, you're going to run the marathon on Tuesday. You know, I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to run that marathon. Why are you going to run that marathon? Because you've been practicing. You've been out there and you've been running. Right, here comes the neck. You're gonna, you've been out there practicing. You've been out running in the rain. You've been doing all your sit-ups and your push-ups and your whatever else, and you've been doing it all. And now you know your body is strong enough. You know that you can run this marathon. Now is the process where you need to believe. You need to start to run and just say, I believe in me, I believe in my preparation, I believe in my drive. And that's what you need when you're doing your artwork. You need to sit there and draw your circles. Let everybody laugh at you, whatever. Ah, oh, you're sitting there drawing circles. <laughs> I've just drawn the Mona Lisa. Well, cool, man. Go for it. You draw your Mona Lisa. But all my circles and all my C's and S's and practicing of drawing fingers and drawing hands and drawing feet, scribble them in your sketchbook. Scribble them in your sketchbook. You're not doing a piece of work for a gallery. You're sketching it. You're learning about the construction of it. That will make you strong.
Right, I've got, I've got, a, I've got a crazy idea. And the same goes for this, the details of your drawing. When you're drawing something, when you're putting down your light, thin lines, and when you're putting down your heavy, chunky, thick lines like that, you're putting them down, look at that. You're putting them down for a reason. You're putting them down because of that feeling that's coming through. You're doing your gentle lines. You're doing your heavy lines. Listen to them. Now something is telling me that I need to extend this out. Something is telling me that I need to give it a fatness to it. Now, when you're doing your drawings, sometimes your drawings don't work out. That doesn't mean you failed. That does not mean any kind of failure at all. It basically means that that day was just, you didn't pick up the feelings right. That's the day where you start to think, what was, the, what was that message coming through? What was it trying to tell me? Now I want to be able to feel the weight of this character. And I want to feel the weight of that line coming in. That's come up. That's come up so nice. And what's kind of given me this feeling of this is that some kind of like, maybe he's like some kind of caterpillar cat. Wouldn't that be beautiful? I'm just trying to bring those lines down there. Just trying to feel in this kind of like slug-like edge to him. All the slimy kind of layers underneath, you got all that going on. I'm just trying to give it a really like very thin line. Do you see the difference between those lines? There's something kind of very thin and very kind of slimy feeling to it. Let's get some little edges out there, feeling that, that kind of roughness to it. Now that is starting to make me feel very, 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 very excited that I've just drawn something and I've just come up with some kind of creature that I would never have sat down and designed. I would never, I would never have had the confidence to sit and draw. But in a couple of minutes, we've basically come up with a creature. And this is what I'm talking about with, with confidence. This is about finding something, you know? And some days it's gonna work. Some days it's gonna be so incredible. And some days you'll just sit there and go, oh, well, that, that was a bit of fun. And this for me is a really nice one. This is kind of making this kind of transition between a a hairy cat, which is what we were having up here. We we're having this feeling of a cat who is hairy and scruffy and tramp-like, who could then kind of 
develops into some kind of like, some kind of hairy creature develops into some kind of slug or some kind of caterpillar, you know? We could have even gone on there and drawn legs if we had a thought about that. We had a plan that we might have drawn loads of legs. But the whole idea that he's this slug type creature. All right, what's going on here with this tail? Oh, I like the idea of this being some kind of weapon. Like some kind of thing that he uh, bashes the little victims on the head with. Like those kind of old dinosaurs in those, you know, back in those days. I'm just going to pull my sleeve up a bit there because I'm going to be dragging it all the way through my drawing. And that kind of gives you quite a nice idea Then you're kind of building up some kind of hunter. Some kind of creature that is out there looking for little animals to kind of bash on the head and eat. And it gives us this lovely feeling of, of creating something that is unique. Something that for sure we've never seen something like this before. I mean... Who would be crazy enough to do something like this? We would, right? You and I would. We would do this. We would feel it. We would draw it. We would explore its options. And this was all about the Cat Cat book. The first two books were kind of like exploring about drawing cats and and having thoughts about them. What what would be this? What would be that? How could I do this? How could I do that? And the Cat Cat books are still on um, Amazon. And I'm going to try to put together a new one. Cat Cat book three. And this is some of the explorings of it. You know, in those those two books, there's probably over 200 drawings but all in color and everything else but it there's a lot of the drawings that didn't go in a lot of drawings that i thought oh, i'm not sure about that one i'm not sure about that one but there's still over 200 drawings <laughs> what a lovely feeling that is Get some texture on that. And I love this idea, these kind of like dangerous, you know, you see sometimes those kind of caterpillars with big spots on them and you think, well, I'm not going to touch you. I'll get, I'll get sick. I'll get poisoned. That's what he's kind of got here. He's got almost like warning spots all over him. So have faith in your drawing. Have faith in you. Have faith in your abilities. And if you don't have abilities at this moment, work on them. Draw your circles. Draw your squares. Draw your feet. Draw your hands. And build up all those. But at the same time, all the time you're building up all these technology, uh, these technical things, sorry, like drawing hands and feet and ears and whatever. At the same time, you have to flexible flex this muscle in here this big brain muscle and that means you've got to flex it you've got to you've got to explore it you've got to push it you've got to sit down and say well can i draw a half horse half man okay what about if i did half horse half octopus what happens if i just sit here and drawing a page and see whatever i draw whatever i come up with what would i draw if i just sat there and I didn't know what to draw. Use your imagination. And 
my name is Kieran Siemens and I've been drawing for you today and I've been just exploring my mind and having fun and that's what I would love you to do I would love you to explore your mind there's something beautiful about the creative people in this world and then my favorite people of all time are the creative people the people that have these crazy ideas and you see them at markets and fairs and they've they've done all these strange flowers for people and they've done all these strange clothing for people that's the people that's the people in this world that we need to encourage and that is today's drawing that is today today's relax from the mind this is our day of just letting go <laughs> he's kind of a strange beast and i really love it it's kind of like the cat slug what a great title the cat slug so as always thank you very 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 much for sitting with me thank you very much for taking this time just to sit and watch me draw I hope you're drinking a cup of coffee. There's my cup of coffee over there and it's going cold. <laughs> mm. I'm getting quite a taste for cold coffee. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for giving me your time. And please, as always, hit the subscribe. I can't remember which on side. Hit the subscribe button and join me for a daily draw. Every day we do a drawing and we relax and we enjoy our life. So join me in this lovely journey to draw every day and thank you. I'll see you again very, very, very soon. Bye-bye.